and Stig had hung around the kitchen for weeks. It was a lot of fun and there was plenty to eat. They would bask on the window ledge by the draining board or dare each other to sprint across the linoleum to the black plastic dustbin on the other side of the room. Ominous but majestic, they dreamed of one day scaling the massive black sides and entering that dark, decaying world within. One afternoon, Errol suggested an excursion over to the vegetable rack. It was always full and the vegetables on the bottom were often forgotten and went rotten. They climbed down the pipes at the back of the sink, made their way around the edge of the linoleum and started up the red plastic tower, mouths watering and pincers quivering with anticipation. Look what I found, said Errol, pointing an exoskeletal leg to a brown paper bag in which could be seen the huge loaves of button mushrooms. You can see the dustbin from here, said Stig. An hour later, they sat stuffed in amongst the folds of a very old and soft mushroom. They could have lived in and on the great coracle dome for weeks, had there not occurred a particularly unfortunate event. Tipping the mushrooms onto the chopping board, the monster hand began to dismember their temporary home. To run now would mean certain death by the thumb. Still clinging to their slices, they plunged down to join the onions and garlic already sizzling in the oil. As the stew began to heat, the heat began to stew the two friends. As the monster spoon stirred Errol this way and that, he thought, I hope they're not vegetarians. And so the heat became too much, even for his tough body, and he fell unconscious. By the way, I found an earwig in the chili, said Andy as they washed up. What? said Jane, being remarkably calm under the circumstances. I didn't like to tell you at the time, do you want to see it? Errol's lifeless body lay in the palm of his hand. Better give it a decent burial. He threw it in the dustbin. Errol's dream had come true. What became of Stig? Well, I'd, I'd rather not say. <laughs> <laughs>